Yes. <laughs> I made it outside of the city today into New Jersey and I'm headed to Blend Custom Makeup Studio. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I found Blend online and I read that there you're able to customize the color and formula of almost any product. Their products are also cruelty free, allergy free, and just overall made with ingredients that won't aggravate your skin. So this sounded kind of like the ultimate custom makeup experience, and I knew I had to go check it out for myself. We wanted to be able to offer custom makeup to everybody at prices you would expect to pay for lines you might find at Sephora or Ulta. My customization experience began with a thorough consultation about my skin type, common makeup concerns, and any specific requests I had for my products. We decided to focus on five that would create the majority of a full face look. An eyeshadow, a corrector, a highlighter, a blush, and a lipstick. Perfect. Okay. Let's do it. Based on your coloring, right, you've got nice beautiful green eyes, you want to bring out that green. So probably we should go with something in the plum purpley family, Ooh, right? I like that, yeah. Nikki began pulling and mixing pigments she thought would make my green eyes pop. For each product I created, they noted every ingredient so I could have it replicated in the future. We tested the first batch of shadow to see if it was up to my standards and... Oh. Oh, it did come out like a very soft, pretty wash. We can do like a little bit more sparkle. A little more sparkle? Yeah. Perfect, yeah. There we go. As someone with seasonal allergies and a bad habit of late night TV, I'm no stranger to dark circles. We're for sure gonna go on the peach side because she's got a lot of purple under her eye. So that'll just completely neutralize it. For more moisturizing formula, they also added a few drops of avocado oil. So when I saw Kira and Nikki pull these brighter colors, I was definitely a bit scared. I have fair, neutral skin with a lot of natural redness, and I found that most blushes aren't flattering for my complexion. But once the pigments were all mixed together and swiped on, I had to admit I was pleasantly surprised. Ooh, yeah, that's really nice. It's like not really bringing out the redness, it's just looking like a nice, flush, which it should be. I would tend to probably stay a little bit away from the pink toned highlighters. It would bring up more redness that you naturally have in your, mm -hmm. um, in your cheeks. So I would probably go with more of like a goldish toned highlighter. It's kind of like, it looks kind of duochrome. Okay, so I know you can't really see it here on camera, so please accept this inserted shot of a swatch in sunlight. This best captures what it looked like in person, which was gorgeous. I've been binge watching Riverdale, <laughs> like <laughs> most girls my age, and um, one of the characters, Veronica, always has this kind of perfect, berry, but it's not too like bold, it's not too matte. Something a little muted and subtle and deep? Yeah. Okay. This shade was the most difficult to nail down. That's beautiful on you. Hers looked a little browner. We definitely had to give it a few goes until we got the color we were looking for. 
But when we did, yes. <laughs> In addition to deciding shade and formula, I also got the chance to add other personal touches to my lipstick that really highlighted the customization experience. Like choosing my own fragrance, and even coming up with a shade name. So this is your creation. You get to name it. Oh, I think I need to honor Veronica with this one, my true inspiration, and I'm gonna go with Ronnie. Ronnie is born. Although I swatched and tried on every product throughout my customization, I knew that there was only one way to truly judge if these products were better than anything I've tried before. And that was to take them back with me to New York and test them out in the studio. So I'm gonna start the whole look off with the eyeshadow first. So I have one layer down and I definitely see some pigment. What I'm getting most of a payoff on is the glitter. I'm not seeing the base pigment of the purple like really show through, so I'm just gonna wet my brush a little bit more and like go into the second layer. They nailed the color. It's really flattering on my eyes. It blends really, 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 really nicely. I guess some cons with the formula is it's definitely messy. I mean, I got it kind of all over the table. I definitely have mostly glitter fallout like on my under eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and that's something that I'm really not a huge fan of. I'm gonna skip over to the corrector that I made. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this one out. So this feels really nice on my under eye. Definitely creamy. It seems to be blending in really easily with my finger. I mean, I already can see such a difference in this eye to this eye. I think it's definitely canceling out my purple red tones. But I think also the real test with correctors is how they layer with other products. So I'm definitely gonna put my concealer on and set it and see if it keeps my concealer looking nice or if it looks dry or if it creases or anything. I already see creasing. <laughs> Normally when I use this concealer and my other correctors isn't as much of an issue. Um, so that's super disappointing. I think the next step is gonna be the blush. Ooh. Wow. Okay, that was like 10 seconds and it went on so nicely. I really love it. I really love it. Application, 100. Pigmentation, 100. I think the highlighter was the one I was most excited about when I was making them in studio because it has this like duochrome effect. So good already. So I think this is gonna be versatile in that you can kind of do like a wash of glow or probably really build it up and get kind of that blinding, really cool duochrome sort of look. It's just like nothing I have in my makeup bag and I totally didn't expect that I would be able to create a custom color like this. Last but not least is my custom lipstick. Some good news is that it's not really feathering when I'm using it to line my lips. It just has the best consistency. It's so lightweight, it's not drying, and I still smell the <sighs> champagne mimosa. I think I have some products here that are unlike anything I have in my own makeup bag. I've swatched or tried on at Sephora. They're just really unique. They are meant to be for my coloring and they are performing so, 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 so well right now. It's the end of the day. I am really ready to wash my face and go to bed and this is how everything is looking. The highlighter, still awesome. Sorry, I have really weird light in this bathroom, but you can see like it's still so shiny. The blush is still there, the eyeshadow, 
still really pigmented, has increased. The lipstick definitely, like, it just, I mean, that stain is still there, which I'm really satisfied with. Overall, I'm really, really, really satisfied with how these products performed. I think they are just nothing I could go and buy off a shelf already. I really all around just found Blend to be a super positive experience and something that is totally worth the money.